is a quick video to show what I've made as far as motorizing a spin index fixture. This is one of those cheap spin index fixtures off of eBay or Amazon. I got mine off of Amazon. I think it's about $55. It's about the cheapest one you can get. Now the component, uh, first of all I started the video how I made it, but if, if your shop is sophisticated enough to be wanting to motorize your spin index fixture, you don't need me showing you how I made it. You, you, need, you should know how to make your own component. So the first thing is about a 5 inch diameter pulley that goes on the spin index fixture with a 210 diameter uh, tool bit uh, for, a, for an O-ring. Uh, forget what number O-ring that is, but you can figure your own O-ring. There's charts on the internet. And then I made a about a half inch pulley for the motor. And on the drawing it shows what motor it is and, and how to wire it up and all that. This, this motor I got at a yard sale for two bucks. And I tried to talk the guy into keeping it because it's a brand new motor. He bought it for a project and he couldn't get it to start because it needed a, a, a capacitor. And I told him all he had to do is go buy a capacitor. Tried my best into talking him you know, into finishing these projects, but he was, he, he'd given up on it or wasn't going to do it. So anyway, I got the motor for two bucks. So the capacitor cost five and a quarter. But anyway, so much for that. First of all, I made was a motor mountain bracket. And it's on the drawing. Uh, I'm sure your dimensions would vary, and my drawings don't have very many dimensions on them, simply because I use the drawing in the CNC programs and I don't need dimensions. The, the drawing is the, the tool to, to make the part by. But it is a quarter inch thick aluminum. I recommend steel because this aluminum, uh, I tightened up my screws, the little old, uh, I think the drawing I show 832, but I ended up using 632. The little 632 screws ended up galling in one of the holes. Uh, I didn't use anises, didn't think to use anises. It gobbled up this hole and I had to replace that piece of aluminum in there. But anyway, first of all is the bracket. On the back side here you tie a knot so that the electric won't pull out. Have you an uh, uh, off-on switch. And another thing on the drawing originally I showed this is four and a quarter wide and I ended up having to beat it in a little bit. You can see where it's dented up. Uh, it was touching uh, the disc on the on the rectangle, just barely. Uh, really, four and a quarter should have worked, but I guess by the time you got through welding and everything, it swelled out and it's touching by a few thousand. Uh, sometimes I take the index disc off so I can see better, yeah, especially if I got more than one part to do or a part where I'm grinding up close to the collet. Uh, you don't need this, the index and disc uh, for, for uh, for the spin you know, when you're using it on the surface grinder, uh, grinding something down. Anyway, there, there's also a steel file for, for 3D printing this little louver deal, which kind of gives it a nice finish and touch. So, so you've got the motor bracket, you've got the vent, you've got the top cover, and I put holes in it for air to come in the bottom, and you've got the, the side and bottom cover. Now, other than the O-ring, that's, that's pretty much it. There, there's just not much to it. And, uh, and all the details and everything are, are, are on the drawing. And like I say, the drawing does not have the, maybe the detail you would like to see. Uh, but, but if you've got a drawing program, I save it in AutoCAD 2000 file. If you've got DraftSite, I, I use DraftSite. Uh, I don't know why anybody wouldn't use that as a professional level free program off the internet by the salt industries. Anyway, uh, you'll need to open up the AutoCAD file and snap you some dimensions. Granted the dimensions, I just laid, laid out the, the holes on the spin index fixture and mine happened to turn out four inches and two thousandths. Yours will turn out whatever they turn out. So you won't really want some of the dimensions. For example, the, the dimensions on the motor bracket that's bolted to the 
spin index fixture. Now it's real quick to take off. You just pop the, the O-ring off and take those two screws out and then you're back to a regular uh, spin, uh, spin index fixture. Use it on the mill or wherever. So enough said, uh, air conditioner's coming on. I don't want to compete with this. So real short video on what I did and you're welcome to the drawings and the uh, SDL file for 3D printing the louvers or vents, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's a number 354 O-ring and really a person could cut that groove instead of a 210 diameter cutter, it might make it like 205 because this O-ring stretches a little bit it's probably not 210 in diameter. Hold on a minute, we'll find out what it is. Because it, the little the little pulley doesn't have enough contact surface to start it most of the time. Oh hell, it's a uh, it's 202. So you could use a 202 diameter cutter, and then the O-ring would fit exact. And, and if I'd start it, most of the time it won't start. Well, sometimes if you got the handle right there, it'll start. But anyway, most of the time, well, it started that time, made a liar out of me. But most of the time, you got to kind of hand start it. Now, the motor's got plenty of power. Uh, and it's real quiet. It makes it. Hell, I can't hear any noise. But I don't hear well. And then there's one more thing I'll show you that's handy to have. And that's this little support block, anti-chatter block. When you get a pin down real small diameter, well it's got two V grooves in it, a little V groove for real small stuff. But I use it on about everything. That that keeps this from chattering out here. It's just a one spring, two dials, two screws, and uh, that's phenolic. And it's steel so it holds on the magnet. Uh, most of y'all probably already have that kind of stuff, but in the event you don't, maybe it's an idea worth considering uh, if you've had trouble with these chatter. That'll, that'll put it at the end of the chatter. Nine times, out, or no, 95 times out of 100, it'll stop the chatter. But so much for that project. One last comment. Since I did the work in the CNC, all these screw holes, the ones that hold it to the spin index fixture and the ones that hold the motor, I made those holes the same size as the screws. Now that's not so important on the motor uh, screws, but on the, the screws that hold it to the spin index fixture, by making the holes the same size as the screw, that's kind of like having dowels. In other words, I don't, I'll always have this clearance underneath it where nothing hits the, the magnetic chuck on the surface grinder. So, uh, if you maybe do it by laying out and drilling, you may need to put a couple of small dowels in your spin index fixture. But, but I don't have them in there simply because the screws are my dowels. One of those little things I felt compelled to, to tell you about.